Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily create a website using the new templates in Google Sites. In their latest update, Google has created a bunch of new templates that allow you to quickly and easily create your own website. Now, before we get started, it is important to just make sure you are in the new Google Sites. So just check. If you'll see in the bottom left corner, it'll say back to classic sites. Uh, and that'll let you know that you're in the new site. If you don't see that and you see something that says new Google Sites, you're going to want to click on that. And that will take you to this dashboard. So let's take a look at the template gallery. Because Google has created templates and they've broken it down in different categories. So there's education, which has website templates for your class, a club, student portfolios. There's personal, so if you want to create your own professional portfolio or a restaurant template. And then there's also work templates for events, help center, a project, or team. And these templates are all fully customizable, so you can use them for whatever purpose you need. So for today's video, we'll create a class website. So let's first start by looking at the template, and then we'll look at some of these tools over on the right side uh, for ways that you can customize this to fit your own needs. But for the template itself, you'll notice at the top, there's pages for your homepage, a schedule, and a newsletter. There's a place to type in your own class name, so we'll just call this Mr. Spada. And it's literally as easy as clicking in the text box. And this can all be changed if you just highlight it. There's different types of text. You can bold, italics. You can justify. You can add in a link. You can clear all the formatting or you can delete the name altogether. You can also change the background image by just clicking on the picture. And you'll see in the bottom left here, it says change image. So you can find your own. You can upload your own as well. If we scroll down, you'll see that there's a class overview. There's some placeholders for pictures that you can add. There's a picture in here that you can change with a caption. There's an about me section. And then at the bottom, they have a bunch of resources where you can put in student sites, sites for parents, and then school forms. And so to edit any of those, all you have to do is click, and then you can insert your own links or links to your own docs right in there. If there's something else you want on the front page, you can just click. You'll notice that there's a little box in here. I can begin typing. I can change the color. On the, on the left side here, there's like a little paint palette. You can delete the section completely. And then you can just begin typing and you'll notice all those text tools come back. If there's something, if you want to add your own section in here, you can come over to the right side. You'll see there's a text box, images, there's an embed code, and then you can upload things directly from Google Drive. You can also change the layout. There's collapsible text, a table of content, an image carousel, which allows you to upload several images that people can click through. You can include buttons, dividers, videos from YouTube. You can embed a Google Calendar. You can include a map. And then you can upload your own Google Docs, slides, sheets, forms, or charts. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to include something from my Google Drive. I can just click on Drive. And let's say I wanted to add this science video. All I have to do is double click on the video and it will put it over onto my website. From here, I can make it bigger or I can click and make it smaller. If I double click in the space next to it, it will open up this wheel that allows me to embed another video I can add in images, I can upload my own file, I can insert something from Google Drive, or I could add a text box. So I could write something for the students to know what it is. I'll just quickly show you some of the other features on the right side. So for instance, collapsible text. That will allow you to create a heading and then text that you can open and close. So for instance, 
is, let's say I was going to create um, a drop down of reasons to use new Google Sites. I can say it's easy to use, new templates, and so on. I can write anything underneath. And then you'll notice when I click, you'll see that text underneath disappears. And then there's a little arrow here that will open up and then you can see everything underneath it. So it's a nice way to organize information without a page becoming too cluttered. The image carousel allows you to add in several images. Let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so I just selected a few photos. I'll insert them here. I used all pictures that I used from my thumbnail for my video of how to insert fun lenses and backgrounds to Google Meet, which you can find a link to that in the description below. So let's insert. So now you'll see that I've got a picture carousel here. And again, like before, I can make this bigger or smaller. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And then you'll see underneath that there's these three dots. And when you click on the dots, it will click to another picture. And then if I click on the picture, I'll see that there's some settings. And you can edit any of the pictures. So if you wanted to take some out or add more, you can do that. You just have to have at least two. And then there's another settings there where if you click on that, it will allow you to show captions. You can make it uh, automatically start so that it just goes through the pictures by itself. And if you select that, you can decide whether you want the speed to be very slow, slow, medium, or fast. So let's scroll back up to the top here because I do want to show you how easy it is to customize some of these other features. Uh, like say, for instance, you don't like this yellow. If you go over to where it says themes on the right side, you can change the theme of the website and this one that they used was called Impression. But you'll notice that there's different colors I can choose from. And if I click on those, it will change the overall theme and colors throughout the site. You can also select the Paint tool. And you can create whatever color you want. So if there's a color that's not up top here, uh, you can click and design your own color. You can also change the theme if you click on one of the themes and you'll notice that now my website looks a little different. You know that some of the colors have changed, the fonts have changed. And again, you can change the font for any theme. All you have to do is select font style and you can decide whether you want light, classic, or heavy. And if I decide I don't like that, I can always go up top here and undo last action. And it will take me back to how my site was. So you don't have to be afraid of messing everything up. You can always undo or redo. Now I do just want to show you a couple more things at the top here um, where you can select schedule. This is a great place to insert your own Google Calendar. And if we click on the calendar icon, it will let me put in either my classes um, for my Google Classroom or I can select my actual calendar and then select insert. And you'll see it embeds my calendar. And just like before, you can click on the settings and you can customize what it shows and what it doesn't show. And you can decide whether you want it to show your agenda, if you want it to look like an actual monthly calendar, or you can even do a weekly calendar. So it'll show uh, by the week. The other thing I'll show you is if you want to create your own pages. So if, for instance, you didn't want um, where you know the schedule or you didn't want the newsletter or you wanted to create a page that doesn't exist, if you go to where it says pages, you can delete a page. So if I want to get rid of the schedule, I can click on the three dots and then I can just go to delete. I can hide from the navigation. I can create a sub page, so like a page that's underneath schedule. I can change the properties. I could duplicate it. So if I wanted to make a page that looked exactly like that, I can do that. Um, or I can make that my home page. So if I decide that's the page I want people to go to uh, as soon as they come to my website, that can be the home page. To add a new page, all you have to do is go down to the bottom where it has the little plus sign. And you can decide whether you want the new page to be a link to an external website. So say for instance, I wanted my new page to go to uh, my YouTube channel. I can put the information in here. I can put the link to my YouTube channel 
and I can select open in a new tab. So when people are on my website, when they click on this, it will open up a new tab and they'll still have my website in the in the top here. And you'll see when I click on that, it will take me right to my YouTube channel. And let's go back and just look at one more. So if I want to create a whole new page, let's click on new page. We'll call this distance learning. Select done. And you'll notice it created a new tab at the top. And I can move that around. So if I want that over on the right side, I can click and drag it to the bottom. And you'll notice at the top, now distance learning is over uh, to the right. And I do just want to show you how to customize your navigation bar at the top here. So you'll notice when my cursor goes up here, a little settings icon appears. If I click on that, so you'll see that there's options uh, for my navigation, whether I want it to be on the top or side whether I want the color to be white, black, or transparent. There's brand images, so you can upload your own logo. Or down here at the bottom, you can upload a picture that will show up when somebody bookmarks your webpage. If you've ever used the bookmarks bar in Google Chrome, uh, you know there's little pictures that go next to the website name. You can decide what your picture is and upload that there. There's viewer tools, and then there's analytics to share your website or add collaborators. There's an icon with the person with the plus sign that you can click on. And then you can invite people in. And again, you've got the little uh, edit tool here that allows you to decide whether they can edit or they can just view your published site. And then to publish, simply click on the publish button. You can give your site a name and it'll show you what your URL will be underneath. And then you can decide who can view your website and you can click on manage and it will show you all of that. So if you want it to be open so that anybody can see, you can change those settings to anyone. You can change it so that only people within your school can see it or only certain people. So hopefully you found this video tutorial helpful. I know that creating websites can often be difficult and time consuming. But with this new update allowing you to create a Google site from a template, hopefully it's much easier and a lot less time consuming. But if after watching this, you still have any questions or uh, need some help, please feel free to reach out to me. You can leave a comment in the comments section below. You can reach me on Twitter at Dan Spada, or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the edtech show. I've also put the links to several Google tutorials in the description below. So things like how to use Google Meet, how to use Google Jamboard, and several others. So please feel free to share this or any of those videos with any teachers that you think might find them helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.